In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your knowledge into cash by creating online courses to monetize. If that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. And I'd also like to thank Meloton for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys have never heard of Meloton, whether you're a creator and you have something to teach or you're a consumer and you have a new skill that you would like to learn, Meloton has something for everybody. I'm not super tech savvy, so I love that Meloton allows their creators to focus on what they know and love by monetizing their content while they deal with the technical issues. The main features of Meloton include a user-friendly interface, plus all the necessary functions that any creator would need, a free app for you and your students so that way you can create essentially anywhere from the world without using a desktop computer. Not only that, but you get to share what you do and don't want to share with your audience as well as an international payout system. Like I said, that way you can create and get paid from anywhere in the world. Lastly, another one of my favorite features with Meloton is they have a super easy payment widget integration. That way you can get paid from places like TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp, YouTube, and many more. As a creator, if you've never set up a course before and you really don't know where to start, Meloton offers professional mentors that will give you a free consultation as well as help on deciding which course of action to take, such as increasing your income, getting the recognition you deserve, and you can do it all from the comfort of your own home. Next, I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to create an online course. So let's go. Okay, friends, now that we went over the basics, now I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to create a course. So you're going to start off at the home page on the Meloton website. Next, you're going to click sign up and then you're going to input your information. You're going to start by inputting your email, your full name, a password, and your phone number. And obviously this is not my real information. I am just showing you guys a quick little excerpt of how to do it. So pretty much an example. Once you have your phone number input it, then you're gonna click that little button that says send the code. Next, you will get a text message with a confirmation number, and then you're just going to input that number in that spot. That is going to take you to your homepage where you will see where your courses and all of your options will be. There is an entire training section. You can also click author's profile, and that will bring you to your profile. And here we're going to fill in our banking information if you may have any questions or concern, you can always contact support by the little chat bubble right in the right hand corner, which is super convenient because y'all, I'm not the most tech savvy person, but you never have to worry because Peloton's technical support will literally help you with any of your needs. Creating a course is super easy. All you have to do is click add a new course. You're going to name your new course and then save it. Next, you can change the color background of your course. There's many different colors to choose from, and you can also add a photo to the course as well. Next, you're going to add a description, whatever description you choose. You can add a category and tags, and then they also have a little button where you can click to protect your content. And when you click that button, nobody can copy the text, and it also protects your pictures from being copied as well. Next, you're gonna create your content, so you're gonna click the content tab. Then you're going to add module, and then once you click that, then you can name your modules, whatever you want. So we're gonna start off with what is DIY. So once you create that, you're going to click create module, and then you're also gonna have more options where you can add each lesson. You can also delete each module from this tab as well. Next, you're going to name your class. You can also add your content 
and you can add any type of content, text, documents, videos, audios, presentations, and pictures. And then you also can select whether you want your class to have homework or not as well. Now with the content buttons, it's super easy to add your content. All you have to do is click each button. And for this one, you are creating a video. So you will just enter the link to your video to the right of where the video will appear. As I just mentioned, you can create homework for your class and then below that is where you will add your content for the homework. And for the homework, you can also add documents as well as a description of the homework that you are providing. To the right of the description, you will add the maximum points for each homework assignment. Below homework, you can choose when you want your class to become available, and you can also choose when you want it to become unavailable. That way, at those times, Meloton will just either make it available or make it unavailable. You can also choose between how you would like to do that with the drop down menu, and then you can also choose the time required to complete the class as well. Next, we're gonna scroll up and click payment. Then I click add package and I name my package. I'm also going to choose a color for the card. You can also sell the complete course or pay for each module individually. The payment page for the course is generated automatically. The course price or individual module will be provided to the user by the link. You can specify a different pricing for each module. This option is definitely beneficial if the student has paid the minimum fare and is ready to purchase the remaining course materials. Set the payment using a slider, choose the modules for sale, and conceal the modules from view. the next button that says mini landing. And this is just going to show you a preview of what your students will see. Now you can edit this, you can make it your own and customize it to your liking. You can change the background. That way, once your students click on your course, they're kind of getting a feel for what the course is about. You can also add a video description. You can add a image description for your modules or classes. And you can also type a description and customize the size and font of your text. You're then going to click out of that, go back to the mini landing and click teachers. You can add several different teachers. So if you are collabing with somebody, you can give them access to your module to be able to teach and then click save. Now to finish this tab, you're just going to click around, make sure that everything is the way that you want it. And you can also click the settings tab next to Christmas dupes and delete the course if you wish. Next, we're gonna click on the payment tab. You're going to scroll down and you can also see the modules that can be sold separately, but for this particular one, I just clicked on the module and then I went back to content, payment, and just made sure that every single thing is the way that I like. I'm also gonna scroll down in the payment tab and turn on one of my courses in the right-hand corner with that slide bar. It's super easy to go from the mini landing back to your packages by just clicking class editor in the left-hand corner. Once I get back to my courses, I'm going to click students. If you click add group in the tab underneath students, you can add their name, their access, th select the date that they have access. You can select if they're restricted from certain courses or not. So there's plenty of options for each student. So when I tell you guys that these courses are 100% customizable, I truly mean it. In the left-hand bar, you can check homework, you can add webinars. So if you click webinar, you can 
click the create webinar button, name your webinar and go through the same prompts that we previously just did for the other options. You can click the first webinar that you created. Marketing option in the main sidebar will help you in tracking the essential marketing KPIs. Right from here, the system can send emails to your students. You can also send them telegram messages using chatbots. You can assign tags to them, send them SMS, and all of this is included in the subscription price. There's also a super cool feature with promo codes that you can create yourself and give to your partners who can sell your courses for a commission. To do so, all you have to do is click the new promo code button and enter the name of the code, the size of the discount, the period of the code, the number of the promo codes, and a search for already existing promo codes. The promo code page provides a simple view of all active and inactive promotional codes. If you just click the invite option, you will be prompted to provide the partner's email address and a promotional code. Using the terminate cooperation slide, you can end your collaboration with any partner. All you have to do is click add automatic process and follow the prompts. Once you click that button, then you're going to have tons and tons of options to set up your automatic process. You're just going to click on the process that you would like to edit. You're going to click elements or properties at the top, whichever you may need, and then you can add the actions that you want your automatic process to look like. And once you're done, you can click save at the top and it's going to bring you back to your widgets where you can also edit your widgets as well. So I just click the first widget. Then I'm going to select what I want it to look like. So if I want it to be green or blue or whatever color that I choose. Then once I'm satisfied with the way it looks, I'm going to click content and I'm just going to make sure that all of that is the way that I like it. Next to content, you're going to click export. You can copy the link to your widget, but I'm going to click the arrow next to widget in the left hand corner and go back to the widget homepage. This is where you can add or delete any of your widgets. Underneath the widget tab on the left is where you will find all the information that you may need in the event that you need Meloton support with your course. It's really easy to get their help by just starting a chat and Meloton support team will walk you through whatever you are having trouble with. And just like that, my dear friends, you are on your way to monetizing your knowledge. With that being said, join the creators today at Meloton by clicking the link down in the description box below. Don't forget to input my code. And again, I would like to thank Meloton for sponsoring today's video. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.